All right, welcome back. We're uh, going to work through Division 2 here. We're 126. Um, 126 has uh, three kids three kids ranked in the top 40. Um, two kids predicted to, to place, one of them being uh, Cole McComas, who is a two-time runner-up. Mm -hmm. yeah, so not too shabby no. as a junior. Um, he's projected to get fourth right now. Um, but one thing about Cole, and we've seen it the last two years. Lights are on. He'll be there. Yeah. He's a gamer when the lights are on. We might get a look at four versus three there with Blasco from Steubenville. Yeah, this that's going to be. sectionals. Yeah, that's you know, a sectional. Might and, get a better and idea district. where yeah. we stand. Yeah. Blasco beat him, I believe, at I think in the duel. duel yeah. But I know Cole's been a little banged up, so... You know, I think as time goes on, he's he's only going to get better. Um, certainly, Blasco's a kid we've worked out with in the off season is is, is a great wrestler in his own good, right. Yeah. Um, and then Davin Rhodes from Louisville projected to be seventh, and he's another kid that I could easily see climbing up there. Yeah, um, I agree. You know, he's had some nice wins over hours this year, and other guys. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he got beat recently a couple times, but I but seeing him in a year and just a horsepower thing, I think in tournaments where you're seeing that many matches in a day might be a nice advantage to him. Man, he's a goer. Yeah, and he's strong. Yeah, you make a mistake, you'll pay there. Yep, for sure. Um, All right. So thirty-two. Thirty-two. We have. Quite a few ranked guys. We have five ranked guys, but no projected um, qualifiers. Oh, qualifiers, that's right. The Alex, highest being Del Garbino. Alex, right? Highest being Alex Del Garbino. They have him right now at sixth at Alliance. Um, and Alliance is just loaded as per usual. Uh, you know, you got Decatur, you got Gorman from Aurora, you got the top four guys at Alliance are one, three, Four and five in the state, so. And you get um, five of the top six there. Yeah. Looking at that, yeah. Yeah, and then the, the uh, then the six guys, Miles Knuckles from Coventry. So, um, you know, could Alex get there for sure? You know, if he if he gets hot on the right weekend, it's just a brutal weight at Alliance. This might be one of those situations we talked about earlier, where if he can win sectionals, to get himself in a good position at districts. A bracket situation like that for him could be the difference. Yeah, sure. it could be the Cause difference. Because then you move away from someone if you lose in the semis, and maybe you cross away from one of them guys. Yeah, and I don't know where it. those guys fall from section. Yeah, so it's just something um, to think about. A couple other guys ranked there just to mention. Pennington, Alliance, they have a, a handful of ranked guys. I think five total ranked guys. Um, Vanasek from Louisville, Jonah Thomas from West Branch, and then Halland with Ethan Snyder, who's a freshman, a nice freshman for them. Is, is ranked as well. 38? 38. Um, we have... Six, right? Ooh, quite a few on the second there. Yes, six guys ranked. Yeah. Two qualifiers. Yeah. Being Jared Wright and Carter Mickley. Jared Wright from Beaver Local. Carter Mickley, those two have battled all year. They're just outside of placement, mm -hmm. being 10 and 11. But again, that's going to be one of those things going to state. Yeah. You know, how... how Bracketing goes, how that falls, I could see either of those guys easily placing. Um, it's just going to depend on how that yeah. bracket shakes out. Yeah, and and, and, and Wright's one of the friends of the sh of our show. We, didn't we interview him earlier, right, with, yeah, the, uh, the, with Bo at the seating, uh, yep. seed party? So a uh, good kid. You're rooting for him over 100 wins. Been a, been a guy in their life. And again, it, the Beaver local guys, there's an advantage. It, with the quality in that room, It'd be hard to believe that they're not going to be ready come go time. Right. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. have a nice advantage that that room's loaded. Yeah. yeah. Them kind of athletes breed right. success this For time sure. of year. All right. What are we? Where are we headed now? Um, we are headed to 145. Which is surprising compared to the bulk we have in all the other ones. Just two rank guys. Just two rank, rank guys. Yeah. I mean, both two good time. ones, but I'm just. Skyler Lazier is a two-time placer. He's third right now, um, behind Crace and Gar. Um, certainly, I think Skyler can hang with those guys and can beat them. That's probably where I'd put him if I was a betting man. Um, but again, I'm trying to think if either of those two have seating criteria. I'm not sure. Um, Crace didn't. Crace doesn't because I don't think he wrestled last year. So that you know, that's going to be a toss up there too. I think those top three guys are probably separated from the field. And then you have Daniel Kennedy. He's on the outside looking in. Um, the five at Alliance right now. Um, Again, that's just one of those alliance casualties. Yeah. But could easily easily go the other way. That, that, that's a pivotal match for Louisville for team scoring in Columbus. 
to get your five and six ranked guys to get in that top four to get high on that big board. Is that's the key. So Kennedy's one of those fringe guys that Louisville needs to come through. So they've got a score in Columbus so they can get on the big board and get up there. And then again, I'm not looking at that at that sectional right off the top of my head to know everybody in his particular weight class. But in that sectional Guys from Louisville, I think, are going to come out high, and it's yeah. going to put them in good shape at the Alliance District. I agree. They're going to, and, and if anything, they're separated from everybody else in our in our league. Which you know, our league isn't the end all. There's other good teams there, but you're right. It's they're going to come out with ones. They're going to come yeah, out with yeah. ones. I agree. So uh, that'll be a big one for Louisville. That's a yeah, good point. Yeah, I agree. Um, 52. 52. Uh, we got a projected state champ in Jackson Leonard, who's a two-time state placer at this point. I believe he was third last year, so he should have uh, criteria. You got him and Anthony Rice uh, from Steubenville, one and two. Fishback's tough. This is, this is just uh, a tough weight. Thomas. Um, but he's projected champ. You got Logan Krulik is looking to get out. He's projected placer at fifth right now from Beaver Local. Um, Zach Rogers from Alliance is just kind of on the outside looking in. Um, but, again, another kid that I could see. He can make noise and get out yeah, for sure. Yeah, four, five, six. From Alliance and really even the seven or the three, you know, are all kind of interchangeable. I think so. I definitely think he. Yeah, can I think it. it's tight there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a not spread like you see sometimes between seven and fourteen. Right. I agree. I agree. One sixty. One sixty. We got three rank guys and three state qualifiers projected. Uh, Brennan Seavers from Beaver Local, a freshman who's had a tremendous year. Um, Heath's a tough district here. He's he's looking to be the third seed out of Heath and then sixth at uh, at state. So, and then David Reinhart from Canfield and Braylon Leitner are kind of uh, on the outside looking in in terms of state placement, according to this. But again, that's one of those things where, um, you know. Uh, bracketing and, and then David having the experience of being, being down there. We talked about that, Rich, before. And things get, again, when we talk about things getting funny at Columbus, I mean, the projected champion in this way class is Bazook, who's undefeated and is very, very good. So I'm not saying this, but we were down there last year. Dave had an opportunity to win that match against him. That was against and, Shaw, and, though. That was oh, the Shaw. Shaw. Okay. Yeah, was Shaw, yeah. 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 And, uh, and looked like he could have been a placer last right. year. Yeah. And now he's a 10. Dave's had some very good wins and a couple, like, Tough iffy losses, losses yeah. on different yeah. times. But getting caught in throws, he's very aggressive, and, and the matches are burners, and sometimes things don't go your way when you wrestle. I think that translates good for him to wrestle at the next level. I know he's looking at several places. He's an aggressive kid that lets it fly, so that's what a college coach is looking for, too, for him. And he's, his work ethic is second to none, so... Yeah. You want to take a break here and then come back for the, the top half? What are, yeah. you, what are you thinking? Okay, yeah, think so we're, we're done through 60 here. So we went uh, 26 to 60. We'll come back with uh, 70 to heavy and then final thoughts. Yeah, thanks on saving me with Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs>